hello friends today i'm going to tell you about what is mit logging and how we can use this for detect any small issues or bigger issues in the casing mit is basically a multi finger imaging tool mit this is a caliper uh, device mechanical caliper device it detects the minor issues impacting in your casing that save you from any expensive issues like if there is a small small damage or small leakage or small issues in the casing we can detect it by the help of mit tool uh, before we can go for the any expensive tool or any uh, severe damage MIT is of various sizes according to the casing and tubing. We have different sizes we can use for this tool for different sizes. It has a fingers of different uh, arms like uh, 24 to 120 arms depend on the uh, required data. These arms which I will explain you later on when I will uh, show you practically how uh, these arms will work and how these arms will operate. As you see, see the figure, there are different diameters and different arms are available for different MIT tools. These fingers increases with the different diameters. These tools also can be run with different logging tools. When MIT run in hole, the fingers are closed. Once we reach a target depth, a motor is activated to open the fingers. Th that also I will show you practically how motor is used to activate these uh, fingers to operate or to open or close uh, like as you see this figure these are the arms of the uh, mit tool we can record from down to up while pull out of hole when we are going to uh, uh, record this uh, mit data we we have to go down at a target depth then we pull out of hole while recording the uh, recording the data uh, it has the uh, inclinometers to integrate the uh, finger position which records correct data during process it de detects small dem damages like corrosion like uh, scale like you can say wax like solids like holes small holes or any mechanical damage of the pipe or pipe deformation so I, uh, and uh, the softwares which are used to provide the 3d modules for this are used viva uh, viva well integrity visual analysis or viper software uh, which is denoted by as a uh, well integrity processing evaluation and reporting these softwares viva and viper will give us the uh, casing 3d uh, picture that i will also explain you uh, in this video now first uh, we have to see the mit tool string see this is the topmost part of the uh, tool string that is cable head after this we will use uh, ccl or uh, uh, gamma ray uh, then we have to use the stem bar the centralizers centralizer is basically used to keep your uh, whole uh, keep your tool in the center if there is anything you know if your tool will will uh, uh will go to the sides and like this this is not good for the calibration so to keep your uh, tool in a center we use the centralizers we can use uh, more than one centralizer but uh, normally we use one centralizers so after centralizer there is a mit main tool which records our data then again there is a centralizer then in the last there is a bull plug now i am going to tell you practically how we we will use uh, this tool string and how we will calibrate this mit tool as you see this is the mit tool and uh, these are 40 arms different tools have different arms uh, like 60 arms 40 arms 100 arms 120 arms uh, like this the this tool has 40 arms so this is the tool string which is the cable head now that tool string i will explain to you one by one uh, this is the centralizers and uh, below centralizers we have a main tool uh, 40 arms caliper uh, you see this uh, this is uh, the this ring you see this ring this ring is a caliper ring uh, this ring will not go inside the hole this just we have installed for the calibration 
uh, this is the centralizers centralizers uh, is easy to you know uh, 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 caliper and uh, it is adjusted to the size of the casing and it has the uh, wheels uh, these wheels are used uh, where there is a deviation and easy to move this is the caliper ring uh, which after calibration we will remove these rings from uh, uh, from the tool string and uh, there are different dials like 94 millimeter 62 millimeter 2 millimeter and at different sizes we will uh, calibrate by the help of this tool uh, this tool is known as the caliper ring which is used for the calibration of the ring of this MIT and afterwards we will remove it so uh, now you can see this is our man tool MIT tool uh, which is used to detect uh, any hole inside the casing like uh, and this is the centralizer it has the wheels uh, usually we use two centralizers but no problem if you can uh, use one only this is the knuckle joint centralizer is basically used to you know to keep the uh, string at center to keep our main tool in center uh, this is the knuckle joint which which will rotate in the deviation whenever there is a deviation this uh, by the help of this tool we can rotate and this is a rotating tool uh, uh, by the help of this tool we can uh, rotate and this is the electrical bar uh, electrical bar is used to transmit the signals uh, and this is the CCL uh, CCL is basically used to for casing collar locator this is used to locate the uh, casing casing collar inside the hole and uh, now this is the gamma ray tool uh, gamma ray gr gr gamma ray tool because uh, this is used for to detect the lithology of the rocks and uh, this is the communication part uh, which is used to send the signals to the panel and see these are the cores wtc06 and, and any other these are the cores of the uh, this tool and uh, this tool is known as the communication part of uh, the tool string which is used to communicate send the signals to the panel and this is the cable head after this there is a drop socket now we come to our calibration tool uh, see how we can calibrate it uh, we, we, we give the uh, electrical power from the our uh, uh, wireline logging unit now with the electrical power we can open this tool and see now by the help of this calibration tool we will come to know that this tool is working properly and it will also work properly when it will go inside the casing or inside the hole so now this is the calibration process uh, we are calibrating it at different millimeter depth uh, like 60 60 62 64 70 75 94 like this at different depths we will calibrate uh, this type of tool is used uh, there is a different od and different sizes of the mit tool we can use as per casing if we want to calibrate in seven inch casing we will use uh, small size if you want to calibrate in nine five by eight in casing so we will use more bigger see as you see this tool is uh, become more larger or the rings the arms of the tool are opening are fully opening uh, by the help of this this calibration ring we, we have calibrated this tool these arms are very flexible when if there is any damage or any anything in the casing it will uh, go inside like see these are very 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 flexible arms when there is a damage there it will go inside inside and uh, you know it will record all your data each arm will record their own data all have the sensors and they will record their own data when the casing touch they will go inside like in this way they will uh, they will record their uh, data which we required for the casing uh, now see you you can see that the calibration is uh, almost completed 
and, uh, and we have removed the calibration ring and now we are closing the uh, MIT tools on see you can see uh, we have closed now the closing process uh, is going on and we have almost we have give the power give the command to the motor uh, from the wireline logging unit and it will close uh, these uh, 40 arms uh, basically we use this calibration at the surface see friends now i am going to show you the graph and the arms see there is a arm one arm two arm three arm four arm five like this we have 24 arms in this uh, uh, in this tool mit tool and every tool every arm is uh, color coded with different uh, color and which detects a different data every arms will detect their own data and on the left hand side we have gamma ray uh, and the uh, recording from minimum maximum and average of the arms like see you have there are we have a different arms uh, over there like we have a different arms like now the tool that we are using as I show you practically in the uh, in the in this video that there are four we have 40 arms which we are going to use uh, in this well see the uh, now the graph is very very uh, okay as i show you this is the gamma ray for the gamma ray uh, let me explain you later on about this gamma ray how we will detect the uh, data from this gamma ray after uh, this uh, logging so these are the logging which the, this is the reading which we have taken by the MIT tool see these are these 40 arms will show their data and uh, now we are going down it we have to check where our casing is now here the casing is very good so we have to check that where the casing is little bit damaged so I will show you how we can detect it see the day we have to directly go to so as we go down and the casing is very good over there so i think we should go down directly see these are the uh, recorded arms 40 arms data which will which is directly recording the data so here the casing is very good so we will go to the depth where the casing is not good so let me go there okay see as you see three from three eight zero seven to three eight three zero the casing is not good see this is three eight zero zero meter depth and this is 3801, 3802, 3803, 3804, 05, 06, 07. From 3807 to 3803, the casing is not good condition. It is different from the other. It shows that this is a small damage. Okay. Now, when we go down, it's okay. So, see the casing is this will be okay here you see from 3850 to 3859 the casing is also not good here so it i will show you in this is what this is the casing deformation this figure shows it the this, this graph shows that the casing is your deformed and now when we go to 3875 uh, to 3884 see here the that this is different the graph the graph is different is the log is different from the previous one so this shows that the your casing is small damage over here now we go down here the casing is good okay good the casing is in good condition okay okay 
okay three nine see the casing is in good condition i will show you the 3d module of uh, this area also from three nine eight one to four zero zero six to show you how 3d module uh, will show us in the software as we put all this data in the software viper or viva software then how we get our data from this now see as you see there is little bit change in the graph like 4006 to 4026 so there is a little bit change i will also show you the 3d module of uh, this uh, this depth uh, now you see there is a very big change from th th 4026 to 4046 see the casing is is uh, very big change over here so i will also show you the 3d model of this um, log okay now let me show you the 3d model of this log now let me first explain you the gamma ray what is gamma ray gamma ray tools are designed to measure the gamma radiation in the earth that causes the disintegration of natural occurring potassium uranium and uh, thorium these tools have a radiation sensor the log recorded by this tool is used to identify lithology that estimate the shell content and depth of the correlation of future logs see as you the, see the scale the rock type and the gamma ray reading the shell is the, the range of the shell is from 80 to 140 now you can see the graph the range is 80 to uh, 140 shows that there is the shell available and for the sandstone 15 to 30 for the limestone 10 to 20 for the dolomite 8 to 15 15 5 to 10 5 to 10 5 to 10 this graph is shows the reading that which which rock lithology is available inside the hole now i think you understand uh, the the lithology of the rock how gamma ray logs detects okay now as i told you as I, as you have seen in the graph that from 3807 to 3830 meter there is a small damage this depth shows that there is a small damage and uh, when we go down then this shows that th from 3850 meters to 3859 there is a casing deformation the casing is deformed the, the ca casing uh, you can say it is d-shaped now from 3875 to 3884 meters there is also a small damage see this is a software which gives us the uh, reading the 3d module of the casing the penetration which means that uh, which is inserted or the projection it means the casing is away and the color coding shows that uh, the casing is uh, deformed or penetrated or uh, projected like this so i will show you the 3d module of this one from 3981 to 406 4006 meter the 3d module is like this the casing is not so bad as you can see the casing is in a good condition so the our 3d module shows like this uh, now when we go down here from 4006 to 4026 the casing is like this and the 3d module of our casing is like this it is also showing that the casing is not uh, bad so it is uh, okay good so when we go down here you can see that the 4026 to 4046 meter the gas the graph the logging graph is so much uh, changed so you can see the uh, the casing is so much uh, it's uh, projected and so much is uh, you know the d, d deformed or you can say the d shape this is the 3d module which we can get from the viva or uh, wiper software thank you